This is Jar Jar. Yes, that Jar Jar. He lives at the top of the stairs, and all he's got is a little hole to go in and out of his home. So I thought, he needs a fancy door. I was going to originally just buy a door, and there's a lot of super cute ones, but I thought, you know what? I can make doors. I make doors for a living. Come on. So this is just a lot bigger than I'm used to. And I went into the shop and started building. First thing I found is a nice piece of wood, cut it to the size of the hole, and sanded it down. All right, once I got the piece to size, I painted it one of my favorite colors, purple, because we're going to go for like a magic door. While that's drying, I found me a nice thick piece of cardboard, and this is going to be the outside of the doorway. I'm thinking like a cobblestone little tunnel look, so I'm just going to cut this out very carefully with my knife, and hopefully it won't fall apart. <laughs> Perfecto! Held together. That's why I found the thickest piece of cardboard I could find. I think this is gonna work. Now what I'm gonna do here is try to make it look like it's a bunch of stones stacked together. So I'm just gonna use various of colors. And um, the reason I'm doing this, so Jar Jar, he's our other orange cat. He's not actually our cat. He's our renter's cat. Um, they're taking over the loft up top. Um, Jar Jar and the owner, well, I guess Jar Jar would be the owner. <laughs> and then our renter just happens to be Jar Jar's pet. <laughs> They're great. And um, we're remodeling the whole loft area just for them. And they're very happy. So, But I thought I would do this for him because he likes to go in and out. And he visits Marsh all the time. They're best buds. So it works out really, really nicely. But uh, yeah, we'll just... Uh, Make this all nice in a little area just for him. Another th uh, fun fact <laughs> about our little Jar Jar. Well, actually, he's, a, he's a, the same age as Marsh. He's slightly bigger, but he has always been an indoor cat in apartments. So he, um, him and uh, Nick decided that they were going to move out here with us. Because uh, Nick's best friends with my oldest son, and he wanted to get more space and get out of the city. I don't blame him at all. But that is also a big adjustment for an indoor apartment cat. He is slowly getting braver, and Marsh has been helping, holding his hand, saying, Hey, it's cool out here. Come on. He gets pretty far, but he stays very, very, very close to his home. So I thought... We should make him a nice door so that he can go in and out as he pleases instead of being locked up all day. This is looking pretty darn good. I put a little bit of highlights and the last effect, I'm just gonna do a, a toll painting trick that my mom does all the time. So we're just gonna do a few little splatters and speckles just to add a little bit more cuteness and realism, I say in quotes. <laughs> Now for the door itself. So what I'm thinking, and I've done several of these type of doors much, 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 much smaller, but we can do it in big form. No big deal. So I got some, a little bit thinner cardboard I found. We're just kind of doing this with stuff that we have, because I know it's going to get a little bit beat up by the cats, but, and we can change it later on if we decide we're in a different mood. <laughs> So I'm going to do some panels, kind of look like a, a faux window on top, and then some raised panels on the bottom. So it'll look like, once it's done, yeah, this plywood, it, uh, it soaks up the paint, but that's okay. We'll do a few coats. 
something like that. I like the color scheme. Um, Nick said that he loved my little haunted mansion, kind of those colors. And I have tons of this color paint. It's my thing. I can do this. Now, I did a base coat with my spray paint of the purple, but that is basically just a base so that when I do this color with the acrylics, it doesn't just soak it all up. So it should be one good gloppy coverage and it should cover it all. And I, you can tell that I also pre-drilled where the doorknob and the hinges are gonna go. Next up, we're going to add a little bit of dimension so it doesn't look as cardboardy. So I want it to look like it was a bunch of boards nailed onto the door. So we'll just mark it off and make little dots for where the nails are. I thought I filmed everything, but I guess not. <laughs> but what I did is I have this kind of a silver mylar material that I had left over from another kit. I use that for that top window, so it kind of looks like a window. And um, I used my gold pen, same thing I used on my haunted little uh, psychic house. And I did some little swirly whirlies. I had some leftover hinges. I happened to have one little cool knob that I had from a cabinet and I'm going to use that as a doorknob. And that's pretty much it. Pretty cool, huh? Not bad for some scrap parts and pieces. The uh, Amazon one that we really wanted that was kind of looked like this door was 40 bucks. Nah, we could do it better. And this is in a very precarious spot at the top of the stairs. My wonderful husband offered to try to screw it in. <laughs> Thank you! Because it looks really, really cute. And you can see we're not done with the floor in the spare room yet. But it turned out pretty darn cute. Marsh, of course was the first one to test it out. He knew how to do it right away. It's not fully uh, the surround sound. And there's Jar Jar. He's yelling at me. He's got a tracker on so that we can keep track because he is not used to the woods just yet. But he does go in and out, in and out, in and out, in and out, all the time. He loves it. And there's the two of them. If nothing else done, at least we got a little door. The cat door was the most important thing, after all. Um, maybe I'll, uh, yeah, I'll probably on my Instagram, I'll show how this whole room was finished. Um, Nick basically is my third son, so. <laughs> he eats dinner with us and everything else, so. And we were happy to have them and little Jar Jar as our extended family. Hope you enjoyed this video. There's much more to come and I'll see you later. Bye bye. Oh. Is there anybody home? Who's there?